Hello and welcome. We're at the track covering the sport of kings. Coming up, a bittersweet story for the Jamaica Oaks winner above and beyond. And a top three-year-old Wow Wow's 11 race winning streak snapped at Caymanus Park in Trinidad and Tobago. The horse of the year, Juice Man, is beaten in the Independence Cup. And while big name Caribbean jockeys Patrick Husbands and Emil Ram Sammy score stakes wins in Canada, guess who is back in added money winners row in the USA? The Barbadian rider whose career had been stalled by a lengthy injury layoff, Rocco the Jocko Boeing. Our first story from Caymanus Park in Jamaica. The big handsome filly above and beyond just under a month after her magnificent 1,000 Guinness triumph looks a picture of health and fitness in the parade ring with leading jockey Dane Nelson aboard just minutes before taking on the O's field. Ten fillies in for the purse of 2.5 million Jamaican dollars, that's US 16,800. Number one, another affair, the Phyllis Guinness runner-up, a six-to-one bet for the 10 for a long run. Number five, Sen City and 10 Chapans are both on the improve and both coming in at three-to-one odds. Above and beyond, though, the nine horse, an odds-on favorite at one to two, trying to become the first horse in 11 years to complete the Phyllis Guinness and Oaks double. In the com box, Brad Rickman picking them up down the back stretch with another affair in front being stalked by the favorite. And another affair leads up, pressed now by above and beyond, a half a length separates them. Shipanzer is two and a half lengths back and bouncing in third. Adore Brilliance is four further lengths away as they leave the five. Glock Race is two lengths back. Basilicus is in behind them. Attorney General is next. A break of some four lengths opens up to City Council. Striking Lady runs the rail. Sen City remains at the back. The tempo will increase. They've left the half mile and arrive at the 716th. Another affair attempts to slip away from above and beyond under a powerful ride as they leave the three. Two lengths separates them now. A gap opens up to Glock, moving best to the rest. Shipanzer has backed out into fourth with a long way to go. As they're coming into the lane, it is another affair in the hands of Robert Halladine stepping out wide. Above and beyond is now asked to get going by Dane Nelson putting her to the left-hand stick. Another affair shows grit and determination. Battling as they come to the furlong pole. Above and beyond is their Glock now taking aim at them. But it's another affair above and beyond these two matching strides with a 16th to run. Robert Halladine and another affair now giving way to above and beyond. And Dane Nelson, they win the Oaks. What a finish this. Nelson here in the red and white silks after a sequence of left-hand and right-hand whipping and changing his whole finally getting above and beyond to collar the longtime leader another affair with Robert Halladine aboard claiming a thrilling win by a half length and becoming the first horse since St. Cecilia in 2009 to complete the Guinness Oaks double leading and champion trainer Anthony Nunes four Oaks wins now 23 classic successes his one to two favorite scores over another affair and only two and a quarter lengths further back above and beyond a stable mate Glock, a solid third at 16 to 1. The running time, 2 minutes, 6 and 4 fifths of a second. The quickest in almost 30 years for the Oaks since Godwin Buckner's Poor Little Rich Girl clocked that time in 1991. Hours later, though, celebrations would not have died down for Groom, Stephen Smith, and the owners' group of Trinidadian Rodan Prasad and the Guyanese men Vikram Odit and Rajendra Punai before a swelling in the fitter's left knee was discovered. Turns out there's a slab fracture in that knee, presumably happening during what is now her last race at Caymanus Park. Immediately retired, a broodmare now to the stud farm. Trainer Anthony Nunes says the surgeon confirmed, based on what the x-ray showed, that her racing career is over. We have already decided, Nunes says, that she will go to the breeding champions ham stables next month and will be served by the stallion Soul Warrior. Also Saturday at Caymanus Park, last year's champion two-year-old Wow Wow on an 11-race winning streak tackling older horses in an open allowance field in the Bonnie Blue Flag Trophy. Wow Wow in the Micros Blue and White Silks here with Halladine aboard is chasing top four-year-old Tuna Ciliata into the final bend. Three furlongs to run. Tuna Ciliata on that lead. Wow Wow now sent in chase by Robert Halladine as they arrive at the 5-16th. It is Tuna Ciliata turning for home in the Bonnie Blue Flag. Back. Wow Wow now taken down toward the rail. They're in the last quarter. Tuna Ciliata. Wow Wow now is asked to quicken up and has to be switched to the outside. Tuna Ciliata under a smart ride. Continues to lead up a furlong to run. Wow Wow is toiling and working hard as Tuna Ciliata has stretched the lead now to three lengths. It's Tuna Ciliata and Omar Walker. Wow Wow not able to contend with Tuna Ciliata who wins the Bonnie Blue Flag Trophy by four. 
Tuna Ciliata's ninth win now from 18 lifetime starts. As a 2-1 to one second favorite, he scores by five lengths in a fast time of 153 and three-fifths for nine furlongs and 25 yards. The one-to-do favorite, Wow Wow, beaten into second spot, but gets a valuable tune-up for this month's St. Leisure. Uncle Vinny, third, nine to nine to one odds. Winning rider, Omar Walker, more than happy with his first ride aboard Anthony Nunes' four-year-old gelding. Well, um, in the morning, I've been getting on the start, so I get to understand him, and I listen to what the trainer says. The trainer says he, he, he likes to go, so I just patient race, and when I'm ready to move, I move him. We know at home that he's a really nice horse. Tuna has done everything we've asked him since his three-year-old career, and he continues to improve, and as I said, the there's no she's a man eater around, so he kind of adopted the, the, the number one spot. To Santa Rosa Park in Trinidad and Tobago now, where racing fans celebrated the country's 58th anniversary on Monday with a seven-race card headlined by the Independence Cup. The race taken off the turf because of rain. Previous winners, Root of Jesse and Stockyard in the field of 10. But betting favoring younger horses, Juice Man, the reigning horse of the year, General JN and Apocalypse, who were the three up front leaving the backstretch. Watched by commentator Nick Chady. Juice Man opens up. Juice Man by a length and a half now. Now two lengths, it's Juice Man to General JN. Apocalypse is getting going and here he comes. He rolls into second now as Apocalypse as they approach the 400 meter marker. Making headlines following that moves. Roll Rolls into third now, General JN faltering, back running in fourth, followed by Root of Jesse and the rest. Here they come toward the top of the stretch, Juice Man in front. Juice Man in front by one length here. Apocalypse is right there now toward his flank on the outside, and here comes Apocalypse with a big run. Apocalypse now to poke ahead in front of Juice Man, and making headlines too, gathering momentum on the outside. It's Apocalypse though, who squirts away, opens up by a length and a half, making headlines, rallies into second, followed by Juice Man. Apocalypse, Apocalypse holding on. Apocalypse wins the Independence Cup. Bred by Arthur Foreman in Jamaica, Apocalypse, the Caribbean champion stakes winner last October over Juice Man, puts another big win on his log, scoring by a half length under jockey Kimal Santo as a 9-2 bet. The winning time, 151.84, going nine furlongs for trainer John Abraham and owner Anthony White. The 10 to 1 chance making headlines closing well for second, the even money favorite, Juice Man, third. Let's head north now to Canada for that Patrick Husband story. Now, the illustrious Barbadian rider, I would say, wins most of his races coming from behind. But occasionally, he advertises just how adept he is at front running tactics. In Sunday's Algoma Stakes, he leads here aboard the 9 to 5 favorite, Marjorie's Dream, en route to a gate to wire victory for Barbadian trainer Randy Thompson. Marjorie's Dream has not been tested yet. A length in front, Silent Causeway second, under the eye is third, Sterling Speed needs a run off the inside, running home is Wake Up Maggie, and then Cool Society, now the race on, Marjorie's Dream in front, Silent Causeway in second, placing on the outside, reaching deep, and then under the eye, and coming on is Sterling Speed, Marjorie's Dream has turned them away, Marjorie's Dream in front, another attempt by Silent Causeway, coming again on the outside, Marjorie's Dream in front, Silent Causeway on the outside, I think Marjorie's Dream had Desperately close. Marjorie's dream holds on for the win as the favorite fighting off the two to one bet. Silent Causeway, Patrick Husbands aboard his fourth stakes win this season at Woodbine, delivering a special moment for owner and trainer Randy Thompson's first ever stakes triumph at Woodbine. It's, it's amazing, I feel really good. First of all, I want to thank my good friend Peter Brown for finding me in Barbados and getting me a job in Canada 20 years ago. Let me work for Mr. Tino Tard and Kevin Tard. I really appreciate those guys. And then, first, and, and most of all, my mom, she allowed me to come. Without her permission, I couldn't have come. I was happy, you know. And today, the track is not really playing speed. So that was the key, you know, like try to try to, see to get her to relax because, you know, she's an old foster, she's a speed horse, and I finally get her relaxed, but, you know, she get a job then. Still in Canada, Emile Ram Sammy was unchallenged in the Massachusetts bread stakes at Fort Erie, the 57-year-old Trinidadian top jockey, steering the hot 1-9 favorite, the Dr. Slippers, the victory in the seven furlong run. The Dr. Slippers by six and a half lengths, stopping the clock at 126.70 for the seven furlong trip. Three stakes wins at the Ontario racetrack now this season for Ram Sammy. 
South of the Canadian border, the Barbadian jockey Rocco Boyne is rebuilding his career after a lengthy injury layoff and produced a brilliant ride to land the October Stallion season filly stakes aboard the 72 bet Betcha by a nose at the Indiana Grand Racetrack. A former Emerald Downs and Portland Meadows champion jockey Boyne edged top rider Deshaun Parker aboard the 8 1 shot elusive justice in the US $75,000 event. We've been at the track covering top stories and exciting races in the sport of kings. Check us out again next week.